right guys, I thought I would show you the mommy makeup beauty stuff that I bought. Because mostly I've been buying for kids, but every once in a while I'll go on a little splurge and like update my makeup or whatever. So that's what I just did. So I thought I would share with you my goodies. Okay, and so this is from all over the place. We got stuff from Sephora, from Ulta, from CVS and Walgreens and Target. So first, the not as exciting stuff, Target. So I love this stuff a lot. I haven't actually had to use it in a while because I had a Kara Straight smoothing treatment done on my hair and I didn't need any products, but it's wearing off. I like it because my hair doesn't feel greasy, but it really helps. My hair is very uh, frizzy and very affected by humidity and this is something I found that works without my hair feeling gross, but it makes it soft. I don't know. I like it. And then this isn't exciting. I just needed a travel size really good lotion. Most of the travel sizes are way, way, like they're so tiny that you feel like you can't use it except on your hands. And this one was a little bigger. So I thought I could actually use it on my legs and my hands and my arms or wherever I needed it. Next, I already opened this. This is from Walgreens. So um, I currently use the HD Makeup Forever Under Eye Concealer and uh, it works really well. But um, I thought I would try a less expensive option to see if I liked it as much. And so this one had really good reviews, so I'm going to try it. I am, I already opened this, so you can see. I am super picky about mascara. I only wear waterproof mascara or I'll wear, some brands have like the kind that's not technically waterproof, but it's stay proof. So I, that's the kind I always get. But I've tried so many mascaras and expensive ones, drugstore ones, it doesn't matter. I just, I like what I like. And so I thought this time I was gonna try a new one, drugstore one. So I got this one to try and I love it. It is awesome. The brush grabs my lashes all the way at the base and pulls them up and coats really beautifully. I'm in love with this. And it stays put like a good waterproof mascara, but yet it comes off I don't even have to use special eye makeup remover. I can just wash it off with my face makeup. So I'm happy I decided to try it. So those two were from Walgreens. Moving on, more drugstore stuff. This is my absolute favorite BB cream in the entire universe. I actually got this to try a long time ago, like, I don't know, two years ago maybe. I fell in love with it and it's pretty much all I've ever wanted ever since. So I actually have some, um, uh, dark spots on my face from pregnancy that stayed and this is just the only one that I mean it goes on and it covers them so well without looking too heavy I don't know I just love it guys it's just this one works really well for me they had it on sale so I got two because I was like yes <laughs> all right and then I just got this little cheapy crystal nail file and then this <laughs> I got this to try it was cheap y'all it was like five or six bucks but sometimes you just don't want to spend $18 on an eyelash curler, which is what I normally do. Sometimes you're just not in the mood. So I thought, I'm going to try this little cheapy one. I'm not really interested in the tweezers and stuff in it. I'm just going to see if I like it. And if I don't, well, you know, oh well, lesson learned. So this is from CVS. I actually don't like to shop at CVS that much. So I think they're way overpriced. So I only bought buy stuff there when it's on a good sale. Okay, next, moving on. Uh, this is beauty products, so I got this face wash to try. So it's been a while since I've used a drugstore um, facial cleanser, so I just looked up reviews and people were loving this one, and I love the resurfacing aspect of it. I have melasma, which is like these dark pigments on your face that are triggered mainly by um, pregnancy and things like that. I'm not pregnant, but I got mine during it, and so um, anytime, <laughs> anything like that's really good for people like me to help when you're trying to get rid of those darker spots. So, I'm gonna try it. It was like highly recommended to me, so yeah. And then it was buy one, get one half off. So I also got these. I use a different version, like a much probably nicer, honestly, version of this type of thing right now. Can't justify spending the money on it to replace it, so I thought, why not try the knockoff for now? See if I like it. It's not so much money that if I don't like it, no big deal. And next, I got some liquid illuminator. This is so beautiful. You just mix a little bit, well, how I do it. I just mix a little bit in with my BB cream and it gives you this really beautiful kind of glow to your skin. You can also use it by itself kind of as a highlighter, but that's how I use it. 
cottage cheese, which <laughs> I feel like that's not the most pleasant name. So <laughs> just a little jumbo eye pencil. It's this pearly white. Isn't that pretty? But it's kind of to use right under your eyebrows, kind of as that the highlighter for your eyes, because I just got a new eyeshadow palette, and it didn't come with a shade that I like to use as a highlighter for my eye area. And so I saw this, and I was like, ooh. And then this I'm super excited about. So here's what the box looks like. It's the Lorac Unzipped Palette, and it comes with their primer. Then you open it up, and you get this box here. Then you finally open up the real deal here. And this, I gotta show you guys, because this is kind of crazy to me. So let's open this up. And I love it. <laughs> Every single one of these shades are absolutely perfect to me. Bronzy browns, pinks are my absolute go-to shades. It's what I wear most days. So this palette was like it was made for me. However, I want to show you guys this. So when I was looking for a new, I wanted a new palette. I have, um... The Naked 2 and the Naked 3 palettes, and I also have a Too Faced palette, and they're both getting a little older, and so I was like, I need to kind of refresh my makeup, my nicer eyeshadows. So I've been looking and looking and looking and looking. Well, I skipped over this palette. I just skipped over it. I was like, eh, nope, didn't even pay attention to it, because on the box <laughs> and on the pictures online, it's all brown shades, and they're gorgeous, but I didn't want a palette of just browns. I was like... I need a palette that has pink in it too. And so I would just like, oh, okay, you know, and I would just go about my business. So I happened to be out at Ulta shopping when I saw the palette on display and I was like, um, it's got crazy pink shades in it. What the heck? It is way different than the picture. I mean, come on. Like, look at that. Unreal here, undercover there. They do not look like they have pink in them at all. And they so do. Okay, <laughs> this one here looks like a, a, a pure dark, dark brown. And then here actually has like some purpley pink in it. This shade here, unconditional, total tan brown. Oh, real life? It's got a mauve color to it. What? So I totally skipped this palette online because... I didn't know it had all these beautiful pink shades in it. So, whatever. That's so annoying to me. And it's not just this. Like, so many of the makeup companies, their photographs are not an appropriate example of what the product actually is. Sometimes this is will be a negative because you'll order it thinking it looks like this, and then you end up with all these pink shades you didn't want. Or in my case, sometimes it's the opposite. I thought, oh, the palette was fine, but it wasn't really interesting. Except, oh, it was interesting. It was perfect. So... Yeah, and like I said, Lorac's not the only one. They all do this. So I highly recommend when you're shopping for makeup and you're getting something that's more expensive, like this is 40 bucks, and you're gonna, you know, spend a little bit of money on something, go go to the store or at the very least, Google it and look up actual swatches or people using it so you can get some realistic shades because y'all, they need to photograph better. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But nonetheless, I'm in love with this palette. It's so pretty. It's so me too. It's just so, so, so me. And the only thing it didn't have is I wanted a whiter shade. And that is where that little NYX pencil, that's where this little pencil comes in. Yay. Okay. And last but definitely not least are my Sephora goodies. I got the Too Faced Secret to No Makeup makeup palette. And it's actually got a little more pink than it's showing up on camera. Uh, these two in the middle are a little brighter. And that one in the middle there that you're seeing that looks kind of tan, it's actually a paler pink. So trying to give you an accurate description. But it's just kind of a full face thing. <laughs> Whenever I looked up on um, people using it, and it always looked beautiful. Everyone who uses this whole palette looks so pretty. They make up so gorgeous. So... I thought this is perfect, especially for traveling and things like that. And then last, this is another thing I have been searching for. I've been looking for just kind of an illuminating or light reflecting finishing powder. And you find a lot that, um, to me, ends up looking more like a highlighter and not an all over face kind of thing. 
And this one, which I actually kind of ignored when I saw it online, and then in the store, I mean, it just looks white. And it looks really plain and boring and just kind of white. It doesn't really look like <laughs> anything that exciting. However, whenever you swatch it on yourself, it has got just this subtle, Vegas, Vegas shimmer, tiny little like kind of glow. And it is a gorgeous finishing powder. Just put on all your makeup, then dust this all over your face with a big fat brush, powder brush, and bam, you just look awesome. So try this out in the store because this just doesn't really explain it. Even if I swatched it for you, you probably wouldn't really show off how cool it is. It was gorgeous, so very excited about that. Okay, guys, so there we go. There are my goodies that I got, my makeup kind of splurgy goodies. Mainly those are the splurges, and then some of this is just <laughs> every day, like when you run out, you buy more. So I just thought it'd be fun to share this with y'all. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll talk to everyone later.